G'day you beautiful people, it is great to see your smiling faces. On today's video, we've got one of the greatest night sky vlogs I've ever done and possibly the greatest video period on this channel. A quarter of a million dollar setup, looking a bazillion years into the night sky, photographing all the clusters and the colorful nebulas in the night sky. This is what makes our Corolla so famous. We've got some altitude, a quarter of a million dollar setup, a complete black zone, and access to photograph all the beautiful things in the Southern Hemisphere. Today we'll be using the Celestron C14. The 14 is the 14 inch diameter, an equivalent of a 3,910 millimeter focal range. That is right, 3,910 millimeter focal range. Now it has had some work done to it also. He has got a Hyperstar Mark IV conversion done to it. And basically what that is doing is reducing one of the mirrors in there, taking it completely out and reducing it from an F11 down to an F2. Now that's exactly the same as the photography aspect. It allows more light to capture in. And once we get inside, we can get images clear as day in five seconds. Tracked, stacked in five seconds. That is how good this thing is. Now the camera we'll be using is a ZWO ASI 6200MC Pro. We're photographing at 62 megapixels, allowing us to punch and crop in even more in post-production. Basically, this thing is an absolute weapon. $40,000 for this external part, fully tracked and stacked and moves. I don't have to touch anything. Once I click tracked, this all moves to an NGC number so easy and something I'd love in my backyard. Anything you want is in this machine. We're gonna get inside now. I'm gonna show you how I can control this by pushing a few buttons, capturing an image, and it is that bloody easy. This is an absolute dream vlog come true. You wait till you see the results. So this right here is where everything is entirely ran from. These three monitors control the scope, the dome, how to focus the track. Everything is done from this keyboard, this mouse, and these three monitors. The reason I'm a 65 inch monitor is because right behind the camera are couches and sofas all set up because anyone can come to Arc Roller and learn about the night sky photography. Look at what I'm doing tonight. Learn everything about deep space. Understand what is going on. Look at the telescope. Watch this tour. Ask questions, whatever you want. That is what makes Arc Roller this bloody special. And I'm very lucky and privileged tonight that we have access to take some images of the night sky ourselves. This monitor right here is based where we set up the telescope, the tracking, and we put in the numbers that we require to get the nebulas that we're after. It's a Carina, Orion, whatever it may be, we punch into this. This one here is what controls what we basically capture, it is SharpCap Pro. This is a crazy expensive program. I think it's 11 pounds, about 19 Australian dollars per year. No one can afford it apart from Arc Roller. This system is absolutely incredible. I've used this system for about three or four years now for my own personal tracking. And hands down, it is the best platform for night sky photography when you're tracking and stacking images live. What this allows us to do is get an image that you can see on the right hand side here live. That is how good it is. You can do this on your laptop. You can use SharpCap, put it in to your, uh, to your camera and get an image displayed on a secondary monitor or in SharpCap. I can actually just turn off this second monitor and it'll display up here, which you can do on your laptop. Also, because of the tour, we can run it. There are screens either side. That is absolutely phenomenal. What this allows us to do is capture images. So you can see up here for this, I've got six images that are stacked and that will take five second exposures. Now, this is for the tour. We can actually take that to about 10, 15, 20 seconds. So if we capture five second exposure, if we sort of quadruple that to about 20 seconds, we're gonna reduce that noise by half. That is the going. So all the images that I've captured are 20 seconds. And I've captured these images over the last two months because Obviously the night sky moves quite a lot. And then from the start to the end when I was here, different things have come up. Like tonight, I started at eight o'clock, Orion is already set. So we can't capture Orion. But two months ago, we did very luckily. So all 20 second exposures for the clusters, whatever it was. And from here, we can do all our altercations. So I can do the 
RGB colours. I can also do the black and mid levels. And I can just slide this along and you can see live, it would change what we see there. Why I want to do this is I can export all my stacked images or with the adjustments from SharpCut Pro. That's why this is absolutely phenomenal. All while that's going on, we are still getting the telescope tracked from this setup. You can see up here, tracking outside real rate. So that is moving at the correct rate that Earth is moving and rotating around the galaxies, which is absolutely phenomenal. We don't have to do anything. Looking at this software a little bit more, this is basically a 360 degree of what the camera is seeing. So this little, what we can see here, is basically in the dome. Obviously, if the camera's moving around, it can move around this way and also the other axis of up and down. Now, once it gets to 90 degrees, obviously it can't turn on itself. So that is letting us know that anything inside of those bars, and I can actually move this down, and it's gonna give me a 360 degree of where I'm looking at. So that's the famous hill, Griselda Hill, if you've ever been to Arcarola. This is Griselda Hill. The Milky Way core is rising over here. And you can see this now moving over. That is where the axis of no return. So once it gets to that, it's gonna go all the way back around and have to go on itself again. This yellow dot here is what we are tracking. Now, because of the setup that we've got, it's a little bit less than two degrees of the night sky that we are photographing. So you look, obviously 365 degrees of just pure, absolutely incredible night, beautiful night sky up here. We are seeing less than two degrees in this photograph. That is how crazy it really is of what we are photographing. And it just goes to show you how bloody small we are. So what I'm gonna do with this basically is get a very sort of generic image and export them. When I get onto my laptop, I can take it into Lightroom, stack and blend those images once again, because although this is stacked six images to display that, I want to export all six images. And what I've actually gone through and previously done is exported 15 images, because this is sort of the sweet spot. 20 seconds, 15 images stacked. If you get to that sort of zero to six, you're going to get the same sort of noise reduction. Six to around 10, you're going to get better noise reduction. 10 to 15 is the sweet spot. I reckon 12 to 15 is the sweet spot for all night sky photography, whether you're shooting at 12 mil or 3,910 mil like we're shooting right here. This is the sweet spot. So I've went through and done 12 to 15 images, done a very basic adjustment for the color, exported those images, and we've got about 10 images to go through and look at a little bit later. And let me tell you, it is absolutely phenomenal what we've been able to capture. One last thing before I go through, I just want to go through here and show you how this will basically, what it's called, slew. And slew is basically when the adjustment of the telescope will move around and catch that image, just to show you how this will work. So we can do it's a Carina. We're going to hit find. And slew. So that is now going to move around to its screen. So you can see this moving here. We've got this black bit here, which is where the dome is open. It's where the telescope can look through. And this now is that two degrees of where it's going to slew around so we can find its screener to get another image done. To save time, I'm going to just unclick this LX mode in SharpCat Pro and go back to a five second exposure so we can capture it a little bit quicker. And you can now see it is moving around to where it needs to be. We've captured five second exposures. We've now stacked 18 images for a total exposure of 90 seconds. So in a minute and a half, we have now captured the beautiful Itacarina. I can just do some more fine alterations for this, get the image that I want, literally come up to here and click save save exactly as seen to catch the image we've got there, but also save as raw in a 32-bit stack. So that's gonna export every single image that we've taken now, 23 images, because it's still stacking as I'm speaking, to capture that beautiful image of Itacarina. That is what a quarter of a million dollar telescope photography setup allows you to do. 
That is just absolutely phenomenal. And I want to leave you guys with probably five or six of my favourite images that I've captured over the last two months right here. This is so freaking cool. Enjoy it. So there you have it. That is what a quarter of a million dollars will get you. Two degrees of the night sky with crystal clear images at five seconds that you could stack as much as you possibly want. Make sure to head over to this blog down below, which I have a list of all the Celestin C14, some of the modifications that are done, the price list of this location, how you can come and visit this place, and most importantly, the images that we've captured over the last two months of the moons, the nebulas, the clusters. And then to think later on in the year, you could come back for a completely different tour, change over to the other Celestron camera, uh, telescope and photograph Pluto, Saturn, Mars. It is just so much incredible things to photograph in the Southern Hemisphere. We are seriously privileged in this beautiful part of the world. Any questions you have, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you on all the information that I didn't go through on this video. It was quite quick, but it was absolutely phenomenal. Guys, I hope to see you in Arcarola, but I definitely see you on the next one. Get out there, keep creating, keep inspiring. I'll see you then. Ciao. <laughs>